Hello, here we are again. This is the Doku guy, ready to give you another technique for the more advanced level. Now, you've heard me talk about matching pairs. And then if you took the first course with me, you would have heard it quite a bit. You saw me use it a lot in the last lesson. But let me assure you, that so, they're so powerful. And this is yet another lesson related to matching pairs. And as you get further on in the course, you're going to get lots of matching pairs, and they'll be really helpful. Remember, if I've underlined them, that means that only those two numbers can go there. No other numbers, so you don't need to clutter it up with extra numbers. Let's take, first of all, this top line. In this top row here, we have two matching pairs, here and here. Therefore, we have three empty cells that we have to fill in. We don't have to worry about these because they're already spoken for. We know that this is going to be a one or a four, or a three or a six, or vice versa. So we then say to ourselves, let's count through and find out which numbers are missing. And I'm going to use a different color pen this time. One, two. Two is missing. Let's put it over here. Three is there. Four is there. Five is there. Six is here. Seven is there. Eight is missing. And one more is missing because we've got three empty cells here. Nine. Two, eight, and nine. Now, you may not want to put them out to the side there. You want to just go leave, keep them in your head. You can do that too if you wish. So let's look at this carefully. What numbers can we put in here? Well, we know, this, take this one. We cannot put an 8 there because we've got an 8 in this block. So it has to be a 2, 9. What about in this one here? Well, we've got, if we've got a 2, 9 there, what can we have here? We can have a 2, 8, 9. We could have a 289, but there's an, another thing I'm going to show you. And over here we could have, oh, we got a 28 there. If we got a 28 in this block, that means that this can only be one number, and it is the 9, because those numbers are what's missing here. So the middly, that makes this a 28 matching pair. So we've now got three matching pairs. 28. But now let's look at that a little closer. Whoops, no. We got rid of this 9. I'm sorry, I was wrong. It wasn't two matching pairs. It, we got rid of that 9 and this 9 because we've got that 9 there now. So now we have a 2, 8, 2, 8. Well, we can't have a 2, 8. So that has to be a 2. So that means because you can't have an 8 in, in there, so that has to be the 2. Therefore, because of that 2, this becomes the 8. And so we were able to get three numbers solved even although we had all these little numbers, using the counting up to nine and uh, remembering which numbers are possible there. Okay, so that's, the, that's a row, an example. Now let's, let's erase these, and I'm going to show you how to do a column. It's the same basic principle. Let's look at this column here. We're going to look at this column. It's got two matching pairs, and it's got a seven and a five as well. So the numbers that are missing, we'll put them up here, is a two, eight, and a 9. Let's have a look. Well, we know for a fact that this is an 8 here, middle, this is an 8 here, bottom, middle, top, bottom. We know that it has to be an 8. Now, we've got that done, we can get rid of the 8, we're back to 9. Two 9s. So we've got now a 2 9 in here and a 2 9 in here. But let's look across here, look. There's a 2 there, so that changes this one to a 9. Now we've got a 9. Well, guess what? There's only one left. It has to be a 2. It's the only one that's left. So I, I shouldn't have read that out, but sometimes I rub them out. There's a lot of them. But there we got another three numbers just by knowing how to handle these matching pairs underlined. Now let's look at the block. Over there in the block we have... Uh, something that's, again, now I, I use this little symbol, watch how I do it. <laughs> that tells me that this refers just to this, uh, just to this block here. 
So the numbers that are missing in here, again, we are missing a 1, 2, and an 8, and a 9. Well, immediately, I see that there's a 2 here. So we can't have a 2 there. Here, this 8 means you can't have an 8 there. So that means the 8 has to go there. There's, no else, elsewhere, there's nowhere else it can go. So now we're left with a 2, 9, and a 2, 9 matching pair but look down and you'll see a nine here so that immediately changes this to a two and this to a nine so what i want to show you here folks is the power of double matching pairs you can work out what the other numbers are very easily with a row a column or a block so i'm off to play tennis bye for now